We're also delighted to have with us the former managing editor of Jewish Currents, Carol Jochnowitz, who wrote the first important article for that magazine on Emma Goldman and Rosa Luxemburg, and then ran lights for us at the most recent New York production of my E.G. A Musical Portrait of Emma Goldman at the Living Theater on May Day, 2007. Carol, thank you. <laughs> We have copies for everyone of the poster for that production and also of the program for the production at Long Island University commemorating the 125th anniversary of Emma's birth, June 27, 1994, at which my mother played the interpreter in the Russian scene, and which has notes by my collaborator Karen Ruff Kramer, a chronology of events in Emma's life, a bibliography of works consulted, a chronology of excerpt and complete performances up to that time, and a list of works known to have been inspired by Emma. There have been a few more recently, including the musical Ragtime, a graphic novel, a one-woman show in Chicago, a five-person rock opera in Santa Fe, a rap number by DJ Payne, and a lesbian duo that calls itself, that calls itself Emma's Revolution. But we'll be concentrating on Elaine Fine's work and mine, and a little bit of another opera about Emma, which was sent to me only yesterday. We're going to show you some short videos of eight excerpts from my piece, from five of the 50 productions in five countries, ranging over a period of three decades, as well as three or four scenes live from that show and from Elaine's opera, and one short aria from Gary Kalish's 1995 opera, Red Emma, based on Carol Bolt's 1974 uh, play of the same name. I never called my piece an opera, but as I've mentioned before, the National Opera Association presented it at their 1991 Chicago convention, and singers without operatic training, like Ronnie Gilbert, the Weavers, who want very much to perform it, I found the music a bit too demanding in terms of range, so I guess it could be called an opera too, who am I to object? Like Henri Burger's Scène de la Vie Bohème, which became operas by Leo Cavallo and Puccini, and Tchaikovsky's Lyric Scenes, which became his opera Evgenia Nyegin. E.g., the nickname Emma likes to call herself, began as Scenes from the Life of Emma Goldman migrated to Emma Goldman in exile, and finally, a musical portrait of Emma Goldman, structured as a series of flashbacks in the form of a visa application. 